In my fourth year of university, my friends and I took an entrepreneurship capstone course. Our professor started by saying, find a problem that you're passionate about solving. One of my co-founders opened up and shared that she's always experienced pain when inserting tampons. She had gone to the doctor and the doctor told her to spit on the tampon. When she told us that story, we were like, this is the problem we have to solve. We need to do something about this. So I came home one day and said, dad, I have something I need to tell you. I'm thinking of leaving that stable corporate job to work on this tampon business. He was so shocked. Where is this risk-taking behavior coming from? Like we would never do anything like this. Post-graduation, we worked for a year before we said, no, we have to keep working on Marlo. Quit our full-time jobs and went into entrepreneurship and jumped right in. When we were trying to raise money and hearing the reception from the investors, why is this even a problem? Why would you even need a product like this? We ended up starting to kind of describe different examples that maybe they would understand, like put your contacts in without contact solution, that dry, itchy, uncomfortable feeling. This is how half the world is feeling when they're using these products. The tampon industry hasn't changed much in the last 90 years. This is something that happens to 50% of the population for one week every month for 39 years of their life. There were so many reasons why people needed a better product and yet no one's thought to solve it because it's so stigmatized. We'll get one of these. My dad, eventually he started to become supportive of Marlo and he saw how happy and passionate we were all about it. And now he's one of our biggest fans. There's a hundred year old company with absolutely no innovation. And you guys come along and kick butt. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking such a big risk going against every single traditional path that people thought we should be going on. And so just to see that it's all paying off, this is more than just a school project. This is something actually coming to life and impacting thousands of people across the country.